Hey guys, um, just want to do a quick look at, take a quick look at the uh, Traxxas Latrac, Latrax uh, pre-runner. They used to be called S SCTs, the short course trucks, but this one's called the pre-runner. It's like the updated version. Um, <clears throat> I picked this up for my son. I actually got him a Latrax Rally, which he went out and tried for the first time. Um, and he smashed up the body a little bit. You know, it was a little quick. It's more my fault than user error because I was kind of trying to teach him how to, you know, drive the cars around with these radios. Um, <clears throat> and these, the, the tracks have a setting on the speed controller that you can set for a low, lower uh, speed, you know, for kids and for training and stuff, for learning or whatever. I didn't set it, and I just kind of let him rip around with it. And they're pretty quick, these little cars, you know, get up to about 20 if you let them. Um, and he, you know, he kind of cracked it up a little bit. You know, no big deal. No damage was really done um, to it. But I figured something like this would be a little bit, you know, uh, bigger, a little bulkier. could take a couple more bumps, you know, because it's a little taller. So we kind of looked at him. He liked the body design or the colors. So we got him this one. <clears throat> they come in like red, all red or all blue. I believe were the first pre-runners and then now this one with the multicolor paint splatter looks like it drove through some paint you know uh, it's kind of a cool design um, I'm not sure if it's picking it up very well it's got a cool little sticker here for the LED light bar and a sticker here for the fans and the vents stuff like that it's pretty cool Pretty cool little truck. Uh, suspension is pretty bouncy, pretty squishy. Uh, <clears throat> it actually comes stock with oil filled shocks, which is kind of nice um, because these things, you know, they're pretty tough. They meant to take some abuse. Also, it comes stock with full ball bearings and metal, some metal gears in the, in the differentials, which is kind of cool. Big jump up from the, the rally. Uh, I want to say. I got it. I got it on eBay from a site who was kind of had a discount, and it was like 130, which was kind of nice. Uh, so I think they retail for a little more, but you know, 130 wasn't wasn't bad. This is a 116th scale kit, by the way, or car. Comes with a standard Traxxas radio um, with all the other tracks come with. And all their basic kits come with. It comes with just steering trim, uh, no throttle trim or anything like that. Basic trigger, which is nice. It's got a good squishy feel. Foam steering wheel, pretty good. It's got some good spring return. Um, it's got a pretty decent sized grip. My son can hold it. He's a little, you know, he's still kind of working out the bugs on how to hold it. Like sometimes he holds it like this. You know, he's not really sure. So I kind of work. I'm trying to work with him to kind of get the feel of. You know, hanging on to it while you're, you know, playing with it. Uh, we took it out a couple weeks ago. We took it out in front of my friend's house, and the battery that came with it, which was a nickel metal, like 7.2 nickel metal hydrate battery, died like right away. So he only got to run it a couple laps. So I ordered some lipos um, for it. <clears throat> some 7.4 lipos really small ones kind of designed for these little kits I don't want to give it a lot of speed you know because I don't need him running it faster I just figure the lipos run longer they actually have a longer run time so you can play with them more you know what I mean uh, this kit actually came with an extra battery initially so it had two batteries which both died right away um, and that could be my fault I'm pretty sure it is I didn't charge them the right way or didn't charge them long enough they actually come with the uh, the Traxxas smart chip in the battery plug. Um, but to be honest, I got rid of that. And I just switched them all over to Dean's because I have so many other kits and so many other batteries from RCs and Airsoft that everything is Dean's and I just I go with Dean's for everything. It's just, just me. Some are better. There's something better out there, I'm sure. There's a lot worse. I like Dean's. It is what it is. Uh, so, let me give you a quick look 
<clears throat> at the kit itself. So this is exactly like the Latrax Rally. It is literally the same chassis, same upper deck. Uh, the difference is the shock towers are taller, obviously. Body mounts are different. It has a front bumper, you know, which is a different mount. Rear bumper and longer arms, obviously because it's a short crush truck, so it has a little bit. It's got a way different uh, ride height, as you can see right there. That's like way different from the rally. The rally is literally like almost on top of the ground. The tires don't have any inserts, but they're squishy, squishy rubber. And these, this car doesn't weigh a lot, even with the battery. So, you know, it's not like, you know, you're, you're putting a lot of strain on, on the suspension. Although, admittedly, this spring, these springs, if you can see that they're a little loose they flop a little bit see that now my buddy's like oh it's not that big a deal it's kind of squishy whatever i don't like that i'm going to get some rings some collars and tighten that up a bit so that they're at least snug um when they came these little caps on the bottom of the shocks this piece right here was upside down on all of them so I just kind of popped them, switched them around to the way they're supposed to be. I don't know if all of them come like that. I just know that it was wrong, so we switched it around. Um, some people even turn the shocks upside down. They say they work way better. I don't know, I haven't tried it. We haven't run this enough to know. But it has all the tracks, so the tracks standards, the brushed motor, the ESC, the covered receiver. All this is waterproof which is really cool. Not to say that I'm gonna let them run it in the mud or whatever, maybe, maybe not, I don't know. But the fact that it is protected is really cool. Like, you know, if he hits a puddle or some wet sand or something, he's not gonna like destroy the car or ruin it or, you know, whatever. <clears throat> so that's it. It's got a pretty cool little bounce to it, you know. Um, and now that we got the lipos, it'll be pretty nice to see, like, what um, what it does out there. Let me turn this guy on real quick. Maybe it does turn on. There it goes. So. Not bad. <clears throat> um, it should be fun. Once the weather gets a little bit cooler, uh, for me, I can't really be outside in the heat or the sun too much. Um, but once it gets a little cooler, you know, we've got a baseball diamond not too far from my house. It's literally at the park down the street. And it's got some cool little sandbars around it and stuff. <clears throat> There's also a playground there. We're going to take them over there and let them rip, see how it goes. Um, but for the cost, the replacement parts are really cheap right now. Like, I think the most expensive thing are the shocks. If you wanted to get, like, uh, aftermarkets, they do make some. They're, like, 75 bucks. That's a lot to me for, for shocks, you know. And I just paid 35 to replace all my RC uh 10T shocks, and that's a vintage. <clears throat> so it's a bit much for shocks, but the standard shocks that you can get for this are a bit cheaper. Um, like I said, it has all ball bearings, so you don't have to do any of that, which I did on the Latrax. I changed all the ball bearing or the bearings to ball bearings. Um, I got oil filled shocks for the rally. You know, this one came with all of it. So, <clears throat> you know, the body's not the greatest shape. It's kind of funky to me. Like it's the, the window, the whole cab compartment. It's kind of weird. It's like, I don't know. <clears throat> but I guess it is a pickup truck. So it, it should be, it's just really wide. It's got a real weird, I don't know, something weird about it. 
maybe it's just me, but I don't know, maybe the wheel wells. I don't know. Something. But either way, like I said, it works. And if worse comes to worse, and if you want, we can get a clear one because I think they make clear ones, and we can paint it up. So that's always cool, you know, because it's a hobby grade RC. Even though it's small scale, it's geared towards kids, you know, whatever. Or, you know, playing in the house. If you want to run around the house, if you have enough room, I don't. But if you do, you got a basement or whatever, you can run them around there with the low speed setting. And it's still pretty cool, you know, so. <clears throat> That's it. That's my take on the Latrax uh, pre-runner. Traxxas Latrax pre-runner. Uh, 116 scale short course truck. Uh, let me know in the comments below if you guys, you know, think these are pretty cool. If anybody has them, you know, um, what you guys think, what you do with them. You know, I, I like the 116 scale. A lot of my friends don't really care for them. Uh, I just got my buddy Rob a 116 scale rally car or, or road car. You know, he's not really a big fan of them. He says, oh, it's, you know, they're small, they're going to be problematic, you know, parts are going to be hard, whatever. The tracks changed all that. Just like Traxxas, they changed that whole mentality because there's parts availability everywhere for Traxxas uh, cars. But I like these scale. I like the small scale. I have 110s. But I like the, the small scale of this. I have a 118 scale or 116 scale uh, RC tank. I apologize. This is actually a 118th scale RC, not 16, 118th scale. I apologize. I said it earlier in the video. My bad. Um, but yeah, this is a 118th, and I have a 116 scale tr uh, tank. I just like the scale. They're fun. They're small. You know, affordable. But let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching.